Yo, 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 what is going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love? My name is Jamal Pope, a.k.a. J. Phoenix, and this is going to be your tarot card reading for Monday, June 24th of 2024. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful weekend, and uh, it's my sister's birthday. Is my baby sister's birthday, so she's not really quite a baby. She actually has two kids herself, but it is her birthday nonetheless, so happy birthday, Destiny. I trust that you will have an awesome day. Uh, don't know if you're even going to watch this, but happy birthday nonetheless. So in any event, let's go ahead and hop into this tarot reading so we can see what we have going on today. Well, I have the card of the Four of Wands in reverse, and this is an interesting card to come up because this card normally does speak to a level of commitment and of some sort with it being in reverse this could be a decommitting from something actually so maybe you are deciding to you know what i'm not going to do this or i'm not going to go through with this commitment you know this card of course also does talk about celebration especially when it comes to celebrating with family members and close friends and relatives with it being in reverse we may not necessarily feel like we are in much of a celebratory mood let's see what else we have with it well we have the ten of pentacles so maybe this is all in our head. Ten Pentacles does speak to financial success. It does speak to, you know, you knowing your worth and knowing your value. Maybe with the Four of Wands in reverse is like, and we have to maybe decommit from some things to recommit to other things. Or maybe we are jumping the gun on the celebration. Maybe we're putting our play before our work. And maybe that's what's kind of causing a bit of a miss here. Now, astrologically, the moon is going to go into Aquarius today. And it's going to be whipping us around. So maybe that's why with the Four of Wands, we may feel like we're like we're kind of feeling good. We want to celebrate and we want to commit to things. And then we don't feel like it. Because this moon in Aquarius, it's going to be getting whipped around. Let me just read to you what's going to be happening. And I won't let's, I won't necessarily go into too many big details about it but the moon rules our emotions and it's going to be making all of these aspects today it's going to enter aquarius it's going to conjunct pluto then it's going to quincunx the sun then it's going to trine jupiter then it's going to quincunx venus then it's going to square mars then it's going to trine the north node and sextile the south node so or the school it's going to trine the south node and sextile the north node so it's going to hit all of these different areas. That's a lot of different signs. Pluto is in Aquarius. The sun is in Cancer. Jupiter is in Gemini. Venus is in Cancer. Mars is in Taurus. The south node is in Libra. And the north node is in Aries. So emotionally, we're going to be kind of all over the place. So trying to sort through this is going to be kind of, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm not going to lie. This Monday is probably going to feel very much so like a Monday. And what you entering into it, thinking that it's going to be a mundane day just because major planets aren't making aspects to each other. No, it's the moon that's going to be the trigger point. And with it being an Aquarius, we're going to want to probably emotionally escape from things or at the very least emotionally detach from things. So maybe this four of wands in reverse is us detaching ourselves from the perceived outcome of what we feel like the day should be when realizing that we have all the worth and we have all the value already there even if maybe the situation may not necessarily be presented exactly the way that we want it to because the mood is making all of these different aspects we have to kind of emotionally detach ourselves from the outcome per se or wanting a desired outcome or clamoring for a particular outcome this four of wands in reverse is going to teach us to celebrate the wins that do come today you know that's really what it comes down to and i'll get another card just because um i have the prince of cups yeah celebrate the small wins today the prince of cups also in this deck also is known as the knight of cups is about really following your heart following your intuition and going for what truly makes sense to you and your heart and your intuition. But in order to do that, you can't get completely wrapped up in the emotions of the day and just because you're going to be kind of whipped around from thinking on this thing and then emotionally focusing on this thing and then emotionally focusing on this thing and then emotionally focusing on this thing. On this thing. It'll be a lot to kind of handle. So now for the Oracle card, I do have Mars. I do have Mars. 
the moon does square Mars today, so that's going to be the aspect that I'm going to say it will be the most highlighted for today. And as far as the timing of that particular square, let me go ahead and give you guys that because it'll probably be later on in the day when the moon does that. Well, eh, kind of. It'll be like at the end of the workday for some people, uh, depending upon where you are in the world. It's going to be occurring around 6.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That moon will be at 11 degrees of Aquarius. And like I said, it will be in square to Mars. So it's interesting, too, because that's one of the last aspects of the day. And, you know, the nodes are at 11 degrees respectively as well. So it also will be trining the south node and sextiling the north node. Essentially, you know, we definitely do have to find a way to make this work you know this moon in aquarius is definitely trying to find some common ground um emotionally with other people and situations the square to mars mars and taurus has to be very resilient because things aren't going to happen as fast as we want to and it has to be, it's like it's got to like really dig it out and just you know put in that hard work and hard effort this isn't like going to come automatically this isn't going to come easy this is about kind of you're kind of in the trenches a little bit and you're just kind of having to grind it out. Good thing is that we have a sextile to the North Node, so there's an opportunity for us to really start to step into who we really are and start to embrace that aspect and act from that space with the North Node in Aries. And even the trying to the South Node in Libra, this can help to balance out some relationships. This can help to bring some harmony to relationships, um, especially if it comes to, since the South Node, that's really going to be more so like, where you come from, the situations that you're born to. So maybe you can find some harmony within your familial type situations and stuff too. So all in all, I think it'll be a pretty interesting day. I do think it'll be a day where emotionally we may feel like we're in a bit of a whirlwind because the moon's going to be making so many aspects throughout the day. I would say, if anything, just, you know, remember to remember to like take a deep breath. Remember to count your blessings. Remember to count your small wins all the wins that you have throughout the day and i think you'll be fine that's going to do it for your tarot reading for today with a little bit of astrology mixed in there because i can't help it so but i trust that this message will assist you on your journey today if you did enjoy this please like share and subscribe i definitely appreciate it and y'all take care stay blessed have a wonderful monday i will see you all on the next tarot video peace